Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're talking about the Can-Am Defender, the 2023 limited Can-Am Defender, and how much I paid for it. This is a question I've gotten um, in some other vehicles, you know, the Ford out here, the F-150, the Camaro, and some of the modifications it did to the Camaro. People like to know that information, I guess. Um, so let's pull this thing outside and uh, chat about it. Somebody commented and wanted to see this thing start up again. I guess they missed it in the last video. They've are curious it's really quite unimpressive to be honest with you pretty quiet from here and pretty quiet from the backside as well but let's pull this thing out of the garage breezy outside so we'll probably take most of this conversation in the cab but take a peek at this thing plow is off of it and uh, it looks cool to plow on but with the plow off it is a super cool looking unit it's a little gloomy today so uh that coat that tan color looks a little darker but i love it man this thing is great all right folks so we're in the cab i have the paper here with everything on it my address and some personal information is on it so i'm not going to show the full paper but i will read it to you and uh, give you the breakdown uh so this machine was uh an order special order for uh the dealership that i go through I have a good relationship with those guys and i had talked to them a while ago said this is what i wanted but i don't really want to order one because i need it for plowing primarily and at the time it was well Maybe it would be here in January. Maybe it'd be here in April. We don't know because of all the supply chain issues. And that just wasn't, I wasn't interested in that and putting uh, myself in a situation where I was waiting. So I just told him, hey, here's all my information. You already know it. But uh, give me a call if something came, you know, comes up and I get you know, an opportunity to buy one that's already been ordered. And just so happened in January, this one had been ordered a while ago. Somebody stepped out of it and I was able to purchase it. So uh, with that said, the other good news, I got it for MSRP. So uh, this is gonna be pretty basic and straightforward. The MSRP um, price on this is, or what I paid for the, the unit itself is $28,899. Uh, we had some uh, parts and accessories, which is basically the snow plow, the frame, push kit and support snow plow kit. So uh, those three uh, items are for the plow, which I'll get out and show you actually what those are. All right, so down here is uh, where the, the plow hooks to and you have to actually get down a little bit. You can see where the paint's kind of rubbed off these little uh, brackets there. Those are a part of the kit. That is where the uh, plow hooks to. So the frame push kit and support plow kit is that piece and then we'll go in the garage here because we have the plow sitting here and then the plow uh itself i think that is the support snow plow kit i don't know th this is a part and then the actual plow itself so three parts one's right there well two are really right there and then the other one is what i showed you there another cool thing i want to actually show you i'll make a video on this but this plow actually hooks really easy. Those two pegs, it just slides up. You hook the uh, winch to it and it just sucks right into place. These big teeth, grab it like that. And then when you want to release it, you just push on that pedal and it drops off. So super, super easy thing. All right, folks, so we're going to try to stay out here. Uh, hopefully it's not too windy. You can kind of check out the machine. But uh, those parts that I just showed you, the snow plow and the frame kit, the support kit, that comes out to $1,209. Labor of $230 bucks to you know put everything together, put the uh, machine in a, a working fashion, the kit for the plow, that was $230. Bucks. Uh, we had $795 bucks for a uh, freight charge. So had to pay a little bit for uh, bringing this machine here. Title fee of $35, unit surcharge of 200. And then that gets us down to the fun spot <laughs> where there is the uh, dock and admin fees, 300 bucks, and then $1,541 in sales tax. So that is everything broke down. I'm actually gonna try to show you here what it is. 
Of course, it's a little windy here, but I'm actually gonna show you this without all my personal information in there. There's kind of the breakdown of the machine, labor parts, fees, all that jazz, so. Back to the machine, it's actually kind of chilly today, but uh, that comes out to $33,210.91. So uh, yeah, ton of money for a side-by-side, -side, I will admit. It was a lot more money than I really wanted to spend, but once I got in it, checked it out, and uh, it knew that it was hard to, uh, it's hard to turn down these things because they're hard to find. And we all know that over these uh, past two years. So $33,210.91 is what I paid for this machine. And to be honest with you, it's been a really good thing. Uh, we have 157 miles on it since I got it in January, primarily plowing. So save my bacon up here on top of the mountain, well, at the base of the mountain, with all this snow we got this year, crazy winter. And uh, I think we're gonna do a lot more with it this summer than I did compared to what I did with my four-wheeler because you know the family can come in here with the extra seats. Uh, it's gonna be fun. So anyways, if you're looking to buy one of the, these machines, definitely don't pay over. Um, I'm seeing some of the stuff slow down. My local dealer here has had a lot of side-by-sides sitting on their lot for a couple weeks, so they're not moving as fast and uh, they're, you know, they're selling them at MS MSRP like I paid. So uh, nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick one. If you uh, want to see more content on this machine, obviously subscribe, drop a uh, comment on what you want to see. Catch you on the next one. Take it easy.